Welcome back, humble traders. Today, I'll be doing a technical breakdown of Capo Corporation, ticker symbol BN4. Before I begin, remember to take a second to give the video a like and subscribe as you really help out the channel. Do note that I do not provide any buy or sell calls, but focus on the potential trips there for the market makers. Without further ado, let's take a look at Capo. So you can see that uh, Capo had a, a pretty nice uptrend recently, and uh, over the past few years, yes, we went up and then consolidated sideways for almost a year from the start of 2021 all the way to uh, the start of 2022. And it seems like now it's uh, trying to break back up once again. So let's take a look at a uh, closer inspection and see uh, what are the potential targets for uh, Capo. Uh, personally, I think that this thing is uh, kind of like overbought. Uh, it may be just one last push before we actually see a, a slightly bigger correction than expected. So you can see that this is in fact the first wave up and then the second wave we may be looking at around 680 before we see a big correction. Uh, furthermore, if you see that uh, on the 680 to 690 zone here, these areas here, somewhere back in 2020, there was actually a, a lot of uh, resistance here. So I do expect um, us to actually face some struggles at around 670 to around 690 zone, which is where we'll see some sellers appearing once again. So if you look at the uh, longer time frame. This is actually the first wave up and then consolidated sideways for one year. And then you can see that this is the second wave. So it appears to be that we may be looking at the peak already and we are approaching it very soon. Uh, looking at the MACD, let's take a look at the MACD. You can see that uh, the MACD tells us that uh, the momentum, the current momentum now in this uh, particular area. Looking at the MACD here, you can see that before we had this correction, just before the earnings release, uh, there was some uh, uh, MACD look something like this. We had a first up wave up here and then we had a second cut down here. So it seems that uh, the same pattern may be repeating once again. And even that um, I'm not exactly sure when the earnings are, but the earnings are coming up soon, then we may be potentially uh, going back down after the earnings release or even after the dividends has been released. Looking at the RSI, it tells us that we are already in the overbought uh, territory at around uh, 67, 68. So we need to be a, a cause for concern. Let's take a look at the weekly chart and the uh, monthly chart to get a better idea. So if you look at the weekly chart, you can see that um, Capo, whenever it's an overbought territory, tends to uh, have a big correction thereafter. You can see that uh, RSI here is overbought, RSI here is overbought, and currently now we are peaking in overbought territories around uh, 78. So that is definitely overbought. Let's take a look at the Monday chart. It seems that on the Monday chart, we still have some uh, room to climb. So on, on two occasions, we went to overbought territories on the Monday chart. This is once in 2011. This is once in 2018. Seems that maybe we may be looking at one more push before we actually uh, have a slight, slightly bigger correction. So yes, that being said, um, I sincerely believe that uh, Time is almost up for capital. We may be looking at one final push up to around 680 to 690 where we see some uh, uh, sellers appearing at this zone. So, yep, if there's any changes, I'll give you guys an update. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe as you keep the up channel, channel intact. Leave a comment below if you have any stock tier requests. Till we meet again, appreciate the manipulation.